All right, well, hopefully after our informative video series that we've been doing today, uh, you, you finally made the decision to go ahead and purchase your very first arrowhead rock drill hammer, or you're adding one to the existing fleet. Um, but while we have the expert here in the room with us, uh, Rob, what is the proper break-in procedure for one of these new hammers? Okay, so when, when we decide to put it, whatever, whatever hammer it is on the machine for the very, very first time, um, we recommend that we, obviously once all the connections are made and everything's good and tight and, and fits well, we want to firstly uh, put, for about 20 to 30 minutes, we want to run the breaker, get the seals supple, warm those up. So run the breaker at half throttle for about the first 20 to 30 minutes. And then once, once we've got some uh, oil around those new seals, they should be good to go. Uh, and give us a good long service life. But the last thing we want to do uh, is, is start off at full throttle. We've got to let those seals just kind of just bed in a little. And then after, say, 30 minutes tops, we should be good and we will be good to get to work um, at, full, at full speed. Yeah, so after the, the machine comes up to temperature, the machine's oil has all come up to temperature then start engaging the hydraulics, you know, about quarter to half idle, give yeah. or take, and just introduce that nice warm oil uh, into those seals. Um, as you mentioned earlier, they are a, a longer lasting seal in the new yeah. R model without the tie rods and stuff in it. So when those seals actually need to absorb, is that a good word, absorb in some of the oil to become more supple? Yeah, I, th I, th I think that the material that uh, we manufacture the seals from is a, is a is a very very resistant material. It's a long lasting material, but is a little um, little harder compound. So we do need just yeah get some of that nice warm oil around those seals to make those seals a little bit more supple. Once we've got that initial breaking period or that initial startup period, that first thirty minutes, then we, then we're good to go because every everything's had chance to to warm up and, and become ready for work. Yeah. And again, being up here in the northeast corner of Pennsylvania where we deal with the zero, sub-zero kind of temperatures, uh, just going to throw this out there that it's always good to let the machine warm up and again warm that hammer up uh, before steady operation. Uh, but just as a service for our new customers, we can also break that hammer in here if we have the right headset and the machine to kind of pin that onto. But we're also very willing to come out to your job site or to your office location and uh, drop that hammer off if you're local or again we'll send you a link to this video if you're out of the area we're just drop shipping it right to your door that we've kind of had this conversation about how to break that hammer in properly and uh, allow it to have a good long service lifespan uh, for that hammer that you've just purchased from us and again uh, dominicsequipment.com d-o-m-i-n-i-c-s equipment.com is the best resource that we have uh, put a lot of money into uh, that website to make it as holistic as possible with pictures and uh, the details and different things and links to videos like this. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you, Rob, for coming out and being with us we today. Appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon, get you a sales quote and a new hammer.